Hello, this is Sausage Fingers, and welcome back to Star Citizen. This is another starter special. Today I'm going to show you how to rent and to buy ships with in-game money, not your own hard-earned real-life world type of money things. Hmm. So, to rent or buy the ships, you have, you, you have to make your way to Hurston. I will show you on the map. If, like me, you started on Port Olisar, and you can start straight here on Hurston, but you will probably have no money. If you start on Hurston, you will have to do jobs first to get said money. Now, there is Port Olisar. You can fly from here all the way to here in your Aurora without running out of fuel. Once you are here, you then land at Lawville. I am going to presume, well, let's presume, after a few hours you have about the same budget as me. What have I got? Uh, I have got, say, 70 grand. Keep it simple, eh? So, there are two ways you will reach Hurston. You will either land, which is very, very good, because you will already be in the spaceport, or you will land in a ball of fire spread over a very large area, in which case you will wake up in a bed. This will probably be the case as you are new to the game, so I will show you from here. Where's the door? Hmm. Door. There it is. So, we then walk around aimlessly in here for a little while, completely lost. There's the exit. And we have to make our way to Teaser Spaceport. Let's open the elevator. Uh, uh, wait for a little while. Cue elevator music. And we're in. We're going to go to the ground floor. Mm, ground floor. And again, I have got no special things. This is all done with a starter package. Hello, man of administration. Next, you will find yourself in here. There is Teaser Spaceport, right over there. We have to get there. So we have to jump on the Choo Choo train. Now, I think the Choo Choo train is this way. Let's have a look. Residence is that way. Shopping things are that way. And I think this is the way we want the spaceport line. There are a lot of different places you can go to in Hurston. You will spend hours exploring this place because it is simply magnificent. If you have a crime rating above level 1, these guards will shoot at you. But it's a great way in game at the moment of resetting your crime stat. Come here, land, punch him in the throat, he will shoot you till you die from it. Then your crime stat will be reset. Oh, there's a train already here. Quick! There. Departing in 3, 2, 1. this point you may take a seat and catch an infection if Next you so desire. Again full day and night cycle. And this train actually goes somewhere if you get my drift. You could have a spaceship flying above this following the train to your location. Beautiful place in the daytime, a bit industrial. And welcome to Teaser Spaceport. The adventure has only just begun. Customs area is what we want. And that's the business district, which is another train line. There are maps cutting about as well. Look, there, mappy goodness. More guards. They are very friendly guards, them ones. make our way up here this is teaser spaceport now there are two ways to get ships you can either rent or you can buy it oh my god right there's some cultist ritual demonstration going on we don't want any part of that here is your spawny thing for spawning your ships you know how to spawn ships because you 
probably spawn ship to get here. Now that over there is the ship showroom. That is where you buy ships, which is through that door there. But I will show you how to rent the ships. What did we say we had? We had 70 grand. Okay. So, this is Vantage Rentals. Hmm. Rentally. Now, if you didn't land here in a big ball of fire, you would have arrived through these elevators instead of in a bed like I did. So you come to Vantage Rentals. You want to rent a ship. I'm going to say my first upgrade from the Aurora would probably be the Cutlass or the Freelancer. To that end, that would be that would enable me to be able to carry um, a lot of cargo initially. Oh look, it's right there anyway. So you would pick, you've got all manufacturers, you've got Aegis, your Anvil Aerospace, all your different ones like so. Mm. I'm going to go Cutlass, back, uh, Cutlass Black. Now, I can rent that for one day. That's one whole 24-hour period in Star Citizen in real time, 24 hours. For 27,706 UEC, which, yes, is expensive, but that is a mere couple of hours' work. Now, with 42 grand remaining, I could fill the back of that up with traded goods and probably make five grand per trip. You're talking probably a 15-20 minute round trip. You can start making very, very big money by trading alone. You can rent it for one day, you can rent it for three days, 30 days, however you want to do that. Now, after this, I am actually gonna rent one because I wanna know if it blows up, do you lose it or not? So I will be renting one of them soon, but I'm gonna show you the shop first. So this is New Deal. This is the ship shop where we actually buy the ships from the shop of the shippy goodness, yes. So we come through here to the shiny place of things. Now that is the physical showroom down there. You can go down there and actually walk around inside those ships, open cupboards, have a look at the coolers and rip them to pieces. I don't think you can turn them on. Um, well, you obviously can't fly them away, but. Yeah, not all of the ships are there, but if you want to see inside the big ships, that's worth a good look anyway. I spent probably 25 minutes walking around inside the Hammerhead, hammerhead Lost. So we wander up this way. And there's lots of hippies in here. There's the posh hippie here. Again, this is a showroom. You can go inside and have a look if you want. You can open the doors and things. But if you want to buy the ship, now we're talking big money here. But bearing in mind, if you rent a cutler, so you can easily earn 200, 300,000 UEC a day. You'll be shocked at the prices. They are expensive, but this is a spaceship, man. Right, uh, gonna go all manufacturers. What do we want to buy? Man, look at that, hammerhead. 12 gabillion, jillion, zillion bucks. Look at that, it's disgraceful. Right, looking through these ships, what I would recommend, first of all, and I don't think you can actually buy it here. I, you'll probably tell me in the comments, you might be able to buy it somewhere else. I would either go for the Freelancer or the Cutlers, because they are just extremely multi-rolled ships. For the sake of experiment, I'm gonna go Freelancer. Don't matter what one you wanna buy. Uh, let's go to Misk. Uh, there it is. 1,697,000. That is cheap as chips, pretty much. Look at the head on that thing. That is ugly. Yeah, that's that and the Cutlass are the Mack truck of the spaceship world. That's not a lot of money. You can make that in a few days easily. So, like I said, you want a ship, you come here and you buy it. But next experiment, if it gets dead, will we lose it? I'm going to rent the ship myself and we will fly in it and see if it gets dead. Well, we know it's going to get dead. I want to see if I get it back. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go have a look at that. And then on Warden, that's a massive bit of equipment. It's cheap as chips, I tell you. I'm going to rent one for one of the human days of the 24 hours. Bosh, are you sure? Confirm rental. Your transfer.
transaction thing is done and stuff. It will become available at the thing. Thanks. Now, one of my, I've already got a cutlass, so I've blown up my original cutlass. So there should be two available, one of which isn't suffering from blown up. There we go. Hmm. 23 hours and 59 minutes remaining. Now, if you log off the game, that clock will still tick. Retrieve. I'm going to claim that as well, now that we know. I'm sure it'll take me more than five minutes to blow it up. Uh, I'm going to retrieve number two. Hangar nine. Okay, let's go get it. Hangers this way? Yeah. There she blows. My shiny new ship, what I just rented with my in-game monies. Look at it, being all shippy and stuff. This is the first time I've done this myself, so this is purely an experiment. show you is now that we've got our ship we could go into our I'm gonna go decoupling for a minute because my speed will maintain then I'm gonna go into the map screen I am at Hurston in fact no I won't show you through the map I can open my quantum there are like a Z you see all these arrows each one of them is an individual place on Hurston all knocking about all over the place basically. I could go to any of these places, some of which will let you buy up minerals and ores and then I can go somewhere else and sell them. Again it's up to you to do your research on the internet of things and find out where you can buy and sell them because it does actually change. Yeah. So I'm gonna hold down backspace, blow up my ship of things. Take a step outside, watch the explosion. How do I open this door? There we go. Then I will commit the Harry Krishna and hopefully will wake up in Norville again. There, it's toast. That ain't buffing out. We get a bit. Oh, it's gone, isn't it? All right, fair enough. Now I'm going to toast me. There. I'm dead. It. All right, happy days. We're back in Lawville. That's stage one complete. Now I've got to make myself make my way back to the spaceport at a speed of a thousand greased gazelles, which means I've got to go on the choo-choo train again. Next stop, Tisa Spaceport. Okay, we made it. Now it's test time. I don't know if this works or not myself. I've never done it. Let's do this. Uh, Hey, here we go. And you can. You can 
claim it back. And this is what I mean by it costing nothing to claim ships. You can file a claim, and that costs me nothing. I have now claimed that. It will be delivered in 15 minutes and 3 seconds. Now, if I want to expedite that down to 2 minutes and 57 seconds, then I can pay extra money, 630 odd UEC. If I pay that, it'll only take me two minutes to get my ship. If I don't, I can now walk away for 15 minutes, come back in 15, and it will be there in the screen. Yes, I am going to pay the expedited fee to receive my ship very quickly so that I can show you that it works. Expedite. Now, if you wait till that gets down to about, probably about nine or eight minutes, and then expedite, you can expedite it, and it will cost you practically nothing. It'll cost you like 20 UEC or something. See, now I only have to wait two minutes. Four, three seconds to push. That'll change any second. Retrieve. Like I say, all we have done is we have got a starter package. With that starter package, we have earned some money. With that money, we have gone mining in the last video. We have done cargo runs. We have done hunting we've done bounties we've done everything that i don't know where that was um i really can't remember i'm gonna go hang a nine i guess i don't know i won't even look it yeah we have done everything that you can do in the bigger ships and now we have rented ourselves a bigger ship that was a really lucky guess and there it is, our Cutlass Black is back. We have gone from an Aurora, a bog standard starter ship, up into a Cutlass within 24 hours. And now that we have that Cutlass, we can do the trading runs. All right, trading might not be your thing, but buy the bullet and do some trading runs to earn yourself some big, big monies. Once you've got 200, 300 grand, you never really have to worry about in-game money again. Money begets money in this game. It's as simple as that. Once you've got it, you can earn more everything you can do in this game you can do with a starter ship it is simple you do not have to spend real money i hope that made things clear if it did or if it didn't or if there's anything else you want to know get leave me a comment and i'll try and square you away yeah if it helped give us a like and a subscribe i'll see you very soon everybody Maybe.